life is beautiful. And I recommend all you people, if you watch this, take your life in your hands, own it, reflect, enjoy it. There's nothing, you only have one life. Just met him, family. Good, your good. family. Thank you. Your family now too. Yeah. <laughs> Thank Sorry you. About your luck, man. Yeah. <laughs> you got your family. Chris. Chris. And Jennifer. Nice to meet you. We started what? Texas. Two months ago with uh -huh. the travel trailer. Mm -hmm. So we're. This is our life for the next ten years while we retire. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, we're not paying money in in property taxes or housing. So this is our life. We're going to Oregon. We want to live in the hills and be free of government and everything. And this is our love. Thank One you. Gear and Lady Friend. That's our trail names. We hike. Uh -huh. We've done some trails. So we're avid hikers. And this is what our life brought us. You can look at the front. I have mm -hmm. AT sticker mm -hmm. and Pacific Crest Trail. That's the trails I've hiked. So come on in, you wanna check it out? <laughs> okay, thank you. This uh, is our home. What we've done here, we've changed stuff. We've added a, uh, a dimmer so you can change the lights. This is one of our upgrades. We did it in the bedroom as well. I'll show you in a second. So we can change the color of the lights. And we added some uh, LED lights that actually run while we're boondocking so we don't have the generator plugged in so we plug into a usb port and we can change all the colors we have a full refrigerator double door got a christmas tree we have uh, our dog levi his ashes are here so we have a dog that passed uh before we left which was hard Sorry. fireplace it works check it out i'll put it on for you so we got a fireplace that does no heat, or we can add heat. We can go to 71 all the way up to 99. Or no power, and it's just a light. So we run that. We have a TV, we upgraded. We have all blackout blinds. At night, we uh, cover up the windows. We have these for when it's cold. So we can close up all the windows. So at nighttime we put these up on these mm -hmm. to keep the, the cold out. Um, this is something we've experienced, you know, for six months of living. This is a 2020, a 2020 uh, Grand Reflection. So basically it has three slide outs, uh, front living or front bedroom. Uh, we love it. We have this couch. It's a bed. We want to change this out because it's not comfortable. But it's it is what it is. So eventually we're gonna trade that out. But we love it. This is yeah. lazy boys. We got lights under here. You know heaters. But so this is what is called RV living. We have a shitter, but this is what we poop in. So we have bags. We use sawdust and we take our bag and fold it up so we can last longer without having to change the pooper out. And then our bedroom, we have a king size bed. In our closet, we can actually put a washer and a dryer in over here. It's capable of it. Uh, I'm gonna build this. Uh, we're going to my dad's, so my girl's gonna be working from home. So I'm gonna extend this to here. I'm gonna put a open here. I'm gonna do three of these drawers over here and these three drawers over here, and have an open space for my go to work at. So I'm gonna build this. Uh, this will be in about two weeks when I get to my dad's in California, and she'll have a workstation here. She'll, my girl will be able to work from home. Our bed folds up. Oh, we got a new bed. We spent a thousand dollars on this mattress. And we have storage under here. Yeah, big space. But we spent money on a good mattress. One thousand dollars. Yeah, and I still have to have more padding on my side. 
Toe's broken. You can see the slump. So I'm a I'm an old man, so I need more padding. So we're working on that. But thousand dollars, we're like, but. <laughs> and this is all I need. Uh, I've hiked for what five thousand miles. I've lived in a tent. I don't need much. At the Pacific Trust, sir. This is me at the midpoint of At. Over here on this picture, that's me at the midpoint. Why um, did you do that? Life. 43 I started. Um, I woke up bald and tired. I've always worked my life and uh, as an American, you need some change. Um, some country call it a sabbatical. Um, I didn't know what sabbatical was um, until I started hiking. Um, other countries give their workers a time to go reflect on life. Americans don't do that. We're too busy with greed and money not all of us but that's American way so I took a chance to change my life um, I had lost my child to her mom sorry and I sold everything in California in 2011 moved to Texas and had to find myself later and I did and uh, from hiking changed my life I'm happy um, but I would recommend anybody that has any problems, uh, anything, go hike. You don't have to do a long distance trail, but just get out and hike for a couple months. It'll change you. You'll learn that you don't need product. I've been downsizing my life for the last six to eight years. I had a full shop of Harley stuff I got rid of. And this is what my life became out of all that. Simple. I don't need much. Life is life. I want to be happy. Instead of spending twelve hundred a month on an apartment, this is three hundred a month. I have no property taxes. I'm free. Life is beautiful, and I recommend all you people, if you watch this, take your life in your hands, own it, reflect, enjoy it. There's nothing. You only have one life. If I'd have done this in my twenties my life would probably be different now and this yeah, is where I'm at after hiking five plus thousand miles 17 states one twice Oregon this is where I'm at and I'm more happy than I've ever been in my life you're gonna do that again uh, I have one more trail it's called the CDT the Continental Divide and I'll be called what's a trouble crowner over 700 and, or 7,500 miles hiked very few people have that accomplishment and that's my goal which when I retire in hopefully seven years my girlfriend my fiance I should say my wife we will do that together and I'll be a trouble crowner if I could spend the rest of my life hiking every year I would I've been off since the COVID I've been off for about eight months now took some pension out it's cost us all a lot of money but I'm not choosing my life over money my life's more important than money and work right now, this year. So uh, we're looking, I'm hoping to get back into work in a couple months if COVID's done. Hopefully this new president, God willing, will take charge like the opposite president didn't. We'll get into that. But anyhow, life is good. I hope you get back to your job. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about living right now. Thank you very much, Chris and Jennifer. Thank you so much. Really taking your time, showing me everything, and told me your story. 